Hi guys, Adam Jacobson here, and I'm back with another one of my tutorials. Um, my mum's on the phone. Um, today I have to turn the camera around because this one is very delicate on one part. Yeah, so I can't move that one, so let's turn the camera around. It is, it looks bare from the outside. When you come inside, it's kind of like a pet animal pen thing. And there's an archway here. And um, there's this down here, and um, there's all walls around it. Yeah, pretty cool thing. I made this entirely myself, I designed it as well. Um, so let's get into the pieces. Right, so what you'll need is, for around the outside of it, you need one, two, three, four yellow squares. Um, one, two, three, four red squares. Um, one, two green squares. Um, and one blue square. That's that. Now over here, we um, that's the one the outside. This is for um, the archway on top. Um, we've got six blue triangles and six um, green triangles. Now, over here, we have um, the center. You need six yellow triangles. Over here, we have around the center these two things: three blue squares, three green squares, and six red triangles so that's what you will need step one you need the six yellow triangles um yeah you got all of them first of all you just pair it with two um two two connect them and then you get the last two and next then and there's the centerpiece done so let's get on to around the centerpiece so for step two you will need the three green squares and the three blue squares so you got your centerpiece by the way you do need the centerpiece for this step um you place the green every other one so it should look something like this then you get the green one, the blue ones I mean, um, and you place them around on the triangles. It should look like something like this. So we need to get up to step three, connecting these squares together. Again, you do need this piece of this step. You, you, I guess you do need this piece of this step. So now we've got the six triangles and you basically place them in between the squares you should just pop in like this. Like this now. Um, so let's get on to the next step. Um, the archways and um, around the edges. We won't need this piece anymore except for the end. Let's get on to that. Right, for this next step, you need um, pretty much all the squares that you have left. You need the four yellows, the four reds, the... Um, the two greens and the um the rolled on yellow so the one blue so what you do i just make something cool you just well, I'm, i want to get a good camera angle so i try and get a good one right so let's do it <laughs> that looks cool so i got the part of the other now um pretty good that that step done you can do it as well it looks Really cool. Next step is the archway pieces. I've had some problems editing. Um, yeah, they're all sticking together. Well, probably should they can stick together. So that is the six blue ones and the three green ones. So in the first row, um, you have three blue ones and two green ones so you connect them all together like this next row you get one blue no two blues and one green no oh yeah one green what's happening oh it's upside down that's why um yeah two blues and one green um so yeah, two blues, one green on the next row, but on the last row you just get one blue. Then you connect them all together, then you get this pyramid shape. 
So yeah, now you just need to connect all the pieces together. So um, I have to go back there because it's really hard to see from down here because that piece is like so long. So first what you do is you get this, the blue part goes on this green part right here. So this green part connects with this blue part. Make sure that happens and so it so it links up if you can see the blue and green link up and if you could be able to see that would be great so the blue and green link up yeah so then what you do is you just fold it all up like this now I can make the camera go back to the future. So once you've got this, you get your pyramid kind of thing. I have to do it this way because it's probably tricky to put on. You just basically put it on just to try and make it balance. Like that you kind of um not go like that when you put it on. Um, what you do is you, if you're doing it this way, you put it down. You hold it. You push in the middle. If you're doing the other way, um, if you're doing the other way, you would um, pull in the middle, and then this one is just like that. So it's right, so you can actually touch it, and it basically falls. Um, you can do it so it's straight like that, but it does take a long time. Try to do that, but it's basically impossible. So yeah, this is the house pen. I got some dogs here, so I'll put them in. I'll just put two in for the moment. I have three. Um, so yeah, now I'll call that the animal pen. Just move this out of the way. Do it. I'll just yeah. move this out of the way so I can do my outro. <laughs> so yeah, that was the animal pen tutorial. So yeah, bye.